So turn on the SW900 display using the middle button there with the M on it, hold that down. So it's turned on now, so you've got your battery levels just there, your mileage there, your current speed, current power consumption in watts, and your pedal assist mode there. So up arrow, down arrow, adjust your pedal assist mode. Uh, if you press the M button one time, it'll change the mileage there to your current trip mileage. If you hold the down arrow, that'll put the bike into walk mode, which is basically a uh, walking pace cruise control. So to get into the advanced settings menu, you hold the up and down arrows. And as you can see there, it's gone to PO1, which is your first setting. So if you, this, if you press the up arrow, you, go, you see the brightness increases. So three is the highest and one's the lowest, which is where I leave it. And then to go into the next setting, press the M button one time. It takes you into PO2 there, which is the miles per hour or kilometers per hour. So take your pick, press the M button again into setting PO3, and that's 52. So this bike's a 52 volt bike. Um, you can go up, up and down, so 48, 52, so on. Setting four is the sleep timer. So zero being no time limit and one minute, two minutes and so on. Setting five is your pedal assist grades. So one, so zero will be three grades, one will be five, and two will be nine grades. PO6 is your wheel size in inches. So this bike's got 27.5 inch wheels. PO7 is a speed measuring magnet, which uh, you don't need to worry about because that's set by the manufacturer. Don't change that. Uh, PO8 is your top speed limit. So that's it. I've just set that to 100 kilometers per hour. PO9 is zero start mode. So if you have it in zero, you can just set off using the throttle from a standstill. But if you put it in one, then you can't use the throttle until you move it. P10 is driving mode, so zero is pedal assist al alone, one is throttle alone, and then two is a combination of them both. I'll put this at one because I'm just using a throttle. P11 is your pedal assist sensitivity, uh, one being the most sensitive. P12 is your pedal assist start strength. P13 is your pedal assist magnet type, so it's got 12 magnets. You can have eight magnets, five magnets, so on. P14 is your controller current limit, so this has got a 45 amp controller, so we set up 45 amp. P15 isn't in use anymore. P16 is your total, mile, well, total odometer reading in kilometers. So to save your settings, if you've made any changes, just hold, press and hold the up and down arrows again, and that'll take you back to the normal screen. While we're here, I'll just run through some error codes that might show up and some possible reasons um, and fixes for them. So you'll get an error code in, in this little box here. It'll say error 02. Error 02 will be for your brakes. So if you take a look at the brake lever here, if that's just pressed in just a slightly, it'll produce arrow two and cut the motor. So just make sure that's right and then check your connections, do all that good stuff. Uh, try different brake levers, I should get rid of that one. Uh, arrow six is for battery voltage low. Um, for this one, obviously make sure you've got charge in your battery. Uh, check your connections from the battery leading to the controller. Um, test the voltage with a voltage meter. If you can do, make sure that's correct. Uh, test it at the XT60 or at the terminals on the bottom of the battery. Um, and try a different battery if uh, all else fails. Error code seven is for a motor failure. So with that one, check the, check the connections and the wiring coming from the motor into the controller. Um, 
check it for splits and little damages in the wires because if you've got a, if you've got a split in one of the wires to the motor one of the phase wires or the whole wires then it'll possibly show you this code um, try another motor sometimes a controller for error 07 error 08 will be a throttle fault so just check your throttle over check the connections undo it plug it back in test it again um, if that fails, just try a different try a different throttle on it, and that should uh, that should resolve your problem. Uh, error 09 is down as an ECU failure, but nine times out of ten with this one, it'll be your phase wires, um, depending on which kit you're using. The older, more basic ones would have a yellow, green, and blue wire is three phase wires and if you have just lost a connection between one of those it'll show up with an error 09 um check them um and if they're all good then you may need a new controller error 10 is a communication received fail at the controller um so for that one it's Usually 80% chance it's going to be a faulty display. So check your connection from the display to the controller and then try a different display. Uh, on the other occasion, that can be a controller fault. Uh, error 11 is a communication transmission failure from the controller. So 80% of the time, that's a faulty controller. Um, check all your connections over, redo them and try a new controller very rarely that can be caused by a faulty display error 12 is a bms communication failure um with that one uh, i've never seen one of those happen before but with that one it's, it's a battery fault so try it with a different battery um don't use a battery with a faulty bms because uh, that's a safety hazard